assuming makes an arse out of you and me. Mm. Which I know that's corny. That always sticks in my head though, as a as a thing, because I do think mm. it's like you said, it's it's a dangerous thing to do. Um, and there's quite a few different examples spring to my head of this where. For all different things, you know, you can assume someone's motivations, you can assume what they're driving for, you can assume someone's background, for example, or even assume that they haven't got a background, so to speak. So, you know, you might want to impart some knowledge onto someone, but it might be a subject that they've got far more knowledge about than you. Knowledge about than yeah, that was right. Don't know why I stopped myself. That sounded like I was misspeaking, but you know, you could presume that they know nothing about something go into a, you know, a spiel about something and actually it might be something they could learn from you on or you just, yeah, you kind of, you, you go into a conversation wrong ways. It does, it ties in a lot to listening thing you said as well, I think, where you said you're just, you know, you're waiting for your turn to speak rather than listening and assessing and understanding. But I wanted to throw in with you on that as well because I think listening is an important part of that and reacting rather than prejudging what you're going to do um, or just driving your own agenda, but do you think questioning is an important part of that as well? Because yeah, I think I it, there's a listening, but if you want to find out if something you're going to say is going to be of benefit to someone, or they've got something to say benefit of you, or understanding their motivations, anything in that sphere, I think sometimes what you've got to do before you even go into a conclusion, if you like, if that's the right word, try and find out, investigate, if you like, what what makes that person tick? What's their background? What are they looking to get out of this interaction? Which again, you've then got to listen and respond and react to the answers. But the same as you might assume, maybe that person's doing the same on the other end. And actually, the skill isn't just on you to not assume and you know listen and react and make sure you're you're involved in the conversation. But maybe you need to draw that out of them as well, and you need to get the information out of them they might not otherwise offer because. You know, they might assume you already know it or it's not even their sphere to talk about it. So chunking, I'd call it in an NLP, neuro linguistic programming sort of way where you you start to find out and you be a bit inquisitive and then you engage in that conversation in the right way based off of what you've then found out. <laughs>